Guy, though, you got to think that they have the neighborhood protected, though. So are, already we have the evacuations with those people who are already in the way of things when this first explosion happened uh, a day or two ago. There, there should be okay, but wow, look at the way that is working. Can't wait to get that update tonight on Fox 11 News later in our evening and, uh, to find out what's going on there. And meteorologist Rick Dicker, when we look at that, it's not unexpected that there would be fireworks. So we want to get paid, so we'll take a second here, and then we'll bring Rick in. <laughs> Fox that 11 weather is sponsored by Lava Propane. And that's right. It's almost like a prescribed burn, uh, Alex, Christine, in that they've set up a perimeter. They put those... So listen, as they go into their coverage of the weather right there, we're going to stay on this shot. And I personally have been watching it for a while here. These are coming via our Fox 11 uh, Sky Fox overhead. And they're saying that these are the leftover fireworks from that Ontario house that ex uh, exploded yesterday. We showed you all of that. So it, it seems like, and like I said, I've been watching it for a while. It is a controlled burn of all these fireworks. All of the Los Angeles sheriff's uh, deputies were out there putting them inside of the dumpsters. So this is controlled here, uh, a controlled burn of these fireworks that caused that really tragic explosion that claimed two lives. So we're gonna stay on this shot here. Pretty amazing to see these images. in five different dumpsters there. And like I said, this one uh, controlled, whereas the one from yesterday was not. So there we have it. So just wanted to give you the latest look here uh, of those fireworks from uh, that house in Ontario. We showed you all of that breaking news yesterday. A massive explosion. Uh, looks like we do have full coverage from Fox 11. Let's listen in. Underway there. This is, I, I guess, sort of like a, a plan burn. This is something that they were anticipating doing. But it just gives you a sense if all of those fireworks exploded yesterday and that there's still all these fireworks left behind today, how many yeah. fireworks were at that home? Look at the shots. So they have to clear this of unexploded ordnance. They have bomb technicians that were brought in to help facilitate this. But already with yesterday's explosion, there was a debris field of 80 properties. This obviously controlled it, trying to you know handle this in a safe manner. But it is quite the visual after what we saw yesterday. And hopefully because they're doing this, it means that those folks that have been out of their homes, at least 80 different homes, uh, will be able to go back to their homes sooner rather than later. But again, these uh, fireworks going off in uh, Ontario, and I'm sure people in that neighborhood are certainly seeing this now. We'll be right back. It's back. And we'll stay on it just to give you a little more background information for those of you who aren't really aware of this Ontario story. At least two people are dead uh, after a large amount of fireworks caused an explosion in an Ontario neighborhood uh, yesterday afternoon. These are the remaining fireworks uh, from that house that were not burned. And Alex Michelson, one of the anchors there with Fox 11, made a really good point and said, if they're burning this much in these dumpsters right here, uh, there must have been a lot left over. And there was already 
a ton that were lit off yesterday that caused that massive explosion that killed two people. Uh, the two people who were killed in the area uh, were identified today. We just got the very latest um, from our reporters out in the field. One of the neighbors identified them as 38-year-old Alex uh, Paez and 20-year-old uh, 20, uh, 20 Cesar Paez. The two men were cousins, and the family had set up a GoFundMe account for them as these families are obviously mourning uh, over the two that have now been confirmed dead. Several other people have reported minor injuries because of the explosion. But what you're seeing right now is a live look at the remaining fireworks that were not set off in the explosion from yesterday. In California, they do controlled burns in the mountains to make sure that fires don't happen. Well, they're doing what I would say is a controlled fireworks show in these dumpsters right now uh, to make sure that what happened yesterday doesn't happen again and doesn't affect any other lives. Two lives already claimed by that tragic situation yesterday. If you didn't see those images, you can check them out on our Twitter page, at News Now Fox, the explosion that happened, the cell phone videos from the ground. Fire crews had to battle the flames from a distance because they weren't sure if there was more explosive material at the scene. This was before they even knew uh, it was fireworks that were inside of the house. Evacuation order uh, was issued for 80 residents. And we do have more coverage from Fox 11. We'll listen into them. Day with the fireworks. Well, right now, this is what they say is controlled here. There were 60 ca uh, containers there with unexploded fireworks that they wanted to handle there on the property. Remember, there's a lot of evacuations there. I mean, this image is really, really remarkable. We'll talk more about this tonight at 10. Also more tonight on the Fox 11 News special report at 7 o'clock. We will see you then. For now, we turn things over to TMZ. So that was the end of the show there from Fox 11 in Los Angeles. They said 60 canisters being set off and there's still active uh, fireworks that are being set off. You can see them right there. Um, I know that this investigation is still underway as to why there were so many fireworks um, in that house there when it's illegal to be setting off fireworks in the city of Ontario in California. But uh, still, still an active scene here as they do this controlled fireworks show in what looks like five dumpsters and four or five other uh, containers there. And like I said, I, I had been looking at this shot for a while, trying to figure out what was going on, what sheriffs were up to, what was inside of all of these bins. And we now know it is the remaining 60 canisters of, of fireworks from that house that exploded yesterday. So we'll stay on this shot here and take this moment to send some of you off to a two minute commercial break. As the smoke billows up into the air, I'm sure uh, residents in the neighborhood are, have had enough of this by now as they had major smoke issues yesterday after that explosion. Many of those houses with blown out windows because of the impact of the explosion. So again, we'll see some of you in two minutes here on News Now from Fox.
And for those of you who are still with us right now, the shot going in and out a little bit as these are from Sky Fox with Fox 11 Los Angeles. This is a controlled detonation of fireworks, the leftover fireworks from that explosion, that house explosion in Ontario yesterday. Fire crews on the scene there making sure everything goes off fine and that fireworks are consolidated to just that area. I mean, all of the